What is up, everybody? Solomon here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. This video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally put out regarding research and deep dives, but I will get back to that tomorrow. This video is about self-empowerment. This video is about understanding exactly where you are. And this video is about realization of exactly where you could potentially be going. We are in the midst of a global revolution, a technological revolution. This video is for anyone thinking about investing in digital assets, anyone currently invested in digital assets, and in particular, this video is for the XRP community. Know what you were invested in. We see the world crumbling down around us. Regardless of your political beliefs, we see fear, we see hate, and we see power struggle. All of that is incredibly important in each of our lives, and it affects us accordingly. We also see hope, though. Hope that our investments are going to change our circumstance. Hope that we've chosen right. Hope that we will have a better tomorrow. Touching base on blockchain and digital assets. Do you really think it matters who wins the election in the United States from a technological standpoint, from an adoption standpoint, and essentially from a digital asset valuation standpoint, whatever utilization occurs? Technological adoption is going to proceed whether the powers that be want it to or not. It always has and it always will. We are in the midst of a great reset. If companies utilizing blockchain and digital assets are not welcome in one country, they will move to another. Digital assets with utility will flourish regardless. $405 billion. That's the current market cap of all digital assets. That's the current market cap of digital assets, some of which are going to swallow all legacy assets. That's the market cap of a new asset class, the first new asset class in hundreds of years. It's going to swallow or interoperate with all other asset classes, period, across the board. The peak of the digital asset market cap in late 2017, early 2018, was close to $900 billion. The total market cap of all asset classes, including derivatives, right now is close to or more than $1.2 quadrillion. Where do you think that valuation, that market cap, what do you think is going to happen when those values start to flow into digital assets? When digital assets with utility become the marker for success in crypto and not speculative assets, what do you think happens? When real estate is tokenized, what do you think happens? When stocks are tokenized, what do you think happens? When derivatives transfers specifically run through specific digital assets, what do you think happens? When they're facilitated through digital assets, when central bank digital currencies are bridged by digital assets, what do you think happens? I've seen enough with Ripple, the company, to never have to research again in my entire life. Temenos, Bank for International Settlements, the International Monetary Fund, the European Central Bank, the Bank of England, Canada's Prime Minister, Trump's Executive Order, NASA, who runs the ACH network in the United States, the Faster Payments Task Force, central banks across the board. You get it, right? I've seen enough with XRP utility the moment that I utilized XRP in place of something else. The moment I saw individuals, the individuals that were building on top of the XRPL, their track record, their history, NSA, etc. Why do I still research them? I still research because opportunities are abound in this space. There won't be one winner. I don't need conspiracy to base upon my personal investments. I'm not knocking anyone that invests based on conspiracy theory whatsoever, trust me. But I personally will never do it. Never have, never will. I've seen enough from a utility standpoint and a realistic standpoint that I don't need to do that. I'm not saying the conspiracy is wrong. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just personally saying that I don't need to do it because I've seen quite enough. We are all in the midst of this reset. I believe that the end game for the great reset is control. But I also believe that in the interim, there is great opportunity for us to capitalize on this quote unquote reset. This reset that will happen, whether we want it to or not. The first new asset class in hundreds of years. Wrap your mind around that. This reset, make no mistake about it, involves multiple initiatives. Biometrics, artificial intelligence, internet of things, blockchain, digital assets, 
ultimately control. I've had multiple conversations with friends and family that know what is coming, but they're all too scared to take the plunge into actually understanding what is happening. Content and watching the nightly news or no news at all is what they're concerned about. The writing is on the wall, ladies and gentlemen. Digital assets and blockchain are the future. China has already rolled out their digital currency. If digital assets and crypto wasn't the future, why would they do that? Exotic nations are rolling out their own digital currencies. The European Central Bank plans to announce their intentions for a digital currency by the middle of 2021. It's pretty self-explanatory what comes next, right? There are larger implications too, like I talked about before. Control, corruption, government-run digital fiat, which inherently doesn't solve or change anything except for maybe a little bit of speed. Your purchasing power does not change. We're going to need privatized digital currencies, companies that are building to utilize blockchain and crypto that aren't government-run. All I'm asking, I'm actually begging you guys to just, just... Step back and realize the opportunity that is at hand right now. There may be initiatives of ill intent in this space, scams, etc., etc. But there are also opportunities for amazing wealth generation. This is not financial advice, but we will see 100x, 1000x, 10,000x coins or tokens on certain digital assets in the future. And I believe these digital assets that will have that occur to them again are the digital assets that have pure utility and ones that are currently some I should say some that are currently being built upon by some of the largest institutions uh, from a banking perspective and private organization perspective in the entire world right now they're already being built upon right now if you don't believe what I'm saying you can look into all this for yourself I sound crazy I know but it's pretty cut and dry it's plain as day it's black and white what's happening the writing is on the wall the future is coming ladies and gentlemen sooner rather than later Will you be one to participate in this opportunity before it's too late? Or will you sit on the sidelines and watch it occur behind your very own eyes? Back to the regular content tomorrow, everybody. Later.